Hey, welcome back to the bench. In the previous video, we went through this constant current discharge circuit. This time around, I want to improve that by controlling it from the Arduino on the discharge station and remove this potentiometer from the beginning. So the first thing I want to do is sort out power. Now, previously I've been using uh, a five volt off my uh, bench power supply. But I'm going to go back to using my uh, laptop power supply, which is on the the uh, discharge and discharge station. So my five volt supply, I'm going to put back in a 7805 uh, regulator. So my 12 volts will be coming in on one side. I have my now five volt rail on the other and ground. So and we're going to remove this portion of our circuit and replace it instead with something different. So I've picked up these tiny little and get them out. These are the MCP4725 digital to analog converters because the Arduino doesn't have one and not even the Arduino Mega has one. So to generate the one volt or the varying voltages that we discussed last time on this input to the op amp, I'm first of all going to place the uh, MCP4725 digital to analog converter. This is an I2C device, I squared C, so from our Arduino Nano, we're going to take A4 and A5. This is uh, S, I uh, can never remember which way around it is. This is SDA and this is SCL. which we can then use to control the voltage at this point on the op amp. I'm also going to add in the original voltage detection line, so back into here. So this is going to go onto our A0. So I'll now be able to see the voltage on the battery, I'll be able to control the voltage on the op amp which will control the load that we put onto the battery and I should be able to reuse most of the code that was in the original charge and discharge station. So I'm going to build this onto the breadboard and I'll be right back. So I'm done. Um, here we now have the MCP4725 digital to analog converter which is replacing the small little potentiometer which has now gone missing but the small potentiometer that was there controlling the input voltage to the op amp. I have beefed up the heat sink on that MOSFET. Um, the, the tiny little heat sink that I had on there was just no way near capable enough of dissipating the heat. So this one is almost correctly rated. I might put a fan over this just to make sure that all the heat is dissipated properly. The MCP4725 is now connected into the, the Arduino and the Arduino has even got the 5110 Nokia screen connected to it as it was on the charge station. So we should be able to power this up. So power this up with 12 volts from the bench power supply and there we go, booted. Great. So on the screen I've got two batteries showing. One of them isn't connected because this um, op amp has, is a dual uh, package. So if I add to this a second bank of resistors and a second MOSFET, I can have two discharges on here. I'd need a second one of these uh, MCP4725s. Unfortunately, the um, these small 
boards are limited because they're on the I squared C bus the address that you can set them to means you can only have two of these connected to one, uh, at one time so I'm limited now to two bit discharges rather than the four I had previously so eventually I'll get round to building that second one in but for the proof of concept this all works so if we take the battery place it in fantastic this is an almost dead cell so it's at 3.54 volts without any load and we can again push the original button the discharge will begin the voltage just sagged a little bit there as the, uh, the load was applied and there we go it starts to count up this is currently set to run at 500 milliamps while I'm testing it rather than a higher current but it seems to be doing the job nicely so before I jump too much further into building this onto some perf board and, and uh, solidifying the design I started to think a bit more about where could this go next I know that I can build two discharges onto this uh, this setup with the additional uh, digital time lab converter and the extra FET and resistors but I do also have a number of uh, outputs on this uh, Arduino still so I was wondering whether I could automate in the charge and discharge by adding in some of these TP4056s and sensing on these the charge and discharge state by tying to the pins that would normally be on the charge and discharge lights um, charge and charge lights sorry on the uh, on the board these LEDs so that I can have this work its way through a bank of batteries one at a time charging then discharging charging then discharging so in the next video to continue the prototyping I'm going to try and build in the TP4056 so that we get a charge and discharge of a single battery and then maybe later on I'll start looking at how I could do that with a whole bank of batteries to speed up the process. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.